Hey guys, what's going on? It's Finite here, and today I'm going to be showing you what the particle accelerator is and what you need it for in your daily life in vaults. So first of all, before I even talk about uh, getting into the uh, particle accelerator, let me just tell you what you need. So first of all, you're going to need a lot of electromagnets. Let me tell you that. Let me just show you how you make it. You need to have a bronze around a motor. That's how you make a motor, if you're wondering. Um, okay, so in total, listen to this number, you're going to need 1,920 of these electromagnets. Yep, and I'm not even over-exaggerating. Um, for each of these electromagnets, uh, for in total, you're going to need 8,000 bronze ingots. So that's a total of 125 stacks. I'll list this up on a like a notepad on the video and I'll put it in the description if you need to know or remember. Now you're going to need a, a thousand motors which is a, a 16 stacks. Then you're going to need uh, for the motors you're going to need 4,000 steel which is 63 stacks, 4,000 copper wire which is also 63 stacks and then a thousand uh, a thousand iron which is 16 stack. So yeah, you're going to need a lot of stuff. Um, anyway, get all those materials sorted out. Now this is uh, the uh, materials you're going to need for a 60 by 60 particle accelerator. So let me just create that here. I'm using the auto builder because if I were to make it by hand it would take quite a while. So as you see here, let me go in game mode. This is a 60 by 60 uh, particle accelerator. It's quite large. Um, so yeah, now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what you need to power this thing up. So firstly, I have some spawned and stuff here. I'm not cheating, just a bunch of stuff. We're going to need all of this. Now to power this, you're going to need a particle accelerator. And you have to listen to me closely now. If you want this to work, you have to put it on a corner. Times it. So, for example, here, where the uh, bend meets. You don't have to use this glass, by the way. You can replace it with the uh, electromagnet if you want. This just shows you where the particle is. Um, so, yeah, you want to place it there. Now, you want to hook this up to bat box which I do not have of course okay no 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 stop <laughs> sorry for being so noob guys so yeah you're gonna wanna make multiple bat boxes I would recommend for me it's gonna be four cause we're gonna make the power source for it so just link that up okay so this is gonna be the power source it's gonna consist of four fission reactors now I showed in a tutorial earlier how to make it. Uh, you should know by now. If you don't, check out the video. I'm gonna go create the fission reactors now. Um, I will be right back. All right, so I'm back. Um, the fission reactors are starting to produce some electricity. Slowly but surely, they'll hit full capacity. Now I'm gonna, while that's uh, heating up, I'm gonna show you what to do now. Okay, so what you want to do is add some empty cells here. Then you want to add any type of matter, ranging from dirt or diamonds. It doesn't matter. Diamonds won't make it any more productive, so I recommend dirt or cobblestone. Any ore you have an excess of. And all you need is a lever. Now, once you, this is producing enough electricity, which I think it should be right now. Should be fine you turn it on. And as you see, the velocity percents up there, it uses up a lot of electricity. I'm worried this isn't enough. But we'll see if it holds out. Okay, as you see, it's, um, it's holding out. As you see, four um, Fission reactors are good enough to run this thing. However, this is not renewable because you have to every 30 minutes you have to replace the fission f uh, fuel rod. So 
I'll figure it out oh wait, how many uh, solar panels you need to run this. But I, I don't know. For now, I recommend these four fission reactors before I uh, head more deeper into the knowledge of volts. So I'm just going to wait with you guys till this uh, finally uh, hits 100% velocity. When that happens, it should produce a small amount of uh, antimatter. I think it's 7 milligrams. And to get a uh, like a, a cell of it, you need 125. So as you imagine, it takes quite a like quite a few times to uh, produce even a single antimatter, which shows how uh, like how rare it is, I guess, or how fragile and stuff. And one thing you don't want to do is this: when you when you're holding the antimatter, you don't want to do this. You'll see why. Yep, there you go. So anyway, as you heard, it hit 100% velocity. Oh no, not yet. Should be hitting it soon. Takes a while for the end, and, 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 and. Come on. Yes, and we produce 5 milligrams. So yeah, that's why it keeps restarting, and you should see our uh, fission reactor holding off. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, this is how you create antimatter. And on the next video, I'm going to show you how to use antimatter to create uh, energy and also used in bombs and warfare. So, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and see you next episode.